feel like they're all staring at me. Good morning! So I've started off the day being a bad vegan, but as I said in my Girona video, I don't want to miss out on trying anything in different corners of the world. I'm vegan at home like all the time, so I don't, I don't need to justify myself, okay? I just want to try all the things I've never seen before. I didn't know what this was before I bought it, um, but it's got almonds on top, and then in the middle it's got like a almond patisserie saucy thing, and it's really, really nice. Oh, sunshine. I've actually got a, a suntan, well, if, if I haven't got makeup on, you can see it, but I have a sunglasses suntan mark on my face. Mm. <laughs> Here we are, not including the bakery, this is the first stop on our agenda today. This is the Igreja du Carmo, and it is one of the finest churches in the Algarve. Although the outside of the church wasn't complete until 1878, the inside, with all of its intricate, amazing, beautiful, delicate, golden bits and bobs, <laughs> was completed 150 years earlier. On film, it really doesn't translate how beautiful and intricate all the gold was and how shiny it was actually looking back on this footage it's really dull but when I was in there it was very very shiny and massive there are so many baby heads everywhere do you, do you notice all the, the babies and the baby heads anyway this isn't the main reason people come to view this church like how can this not be the main reason let me show you how if you're squeamish I apologize This is the Chapel of Bones. This is what everyone comes to this church to see. You can see some of these skulls have been taken out, whether they've been returned to the families of the monks or they've been stolen. I hope not because that's weird. Um, but there's still so many left inside. It's, it's, it's a weird feeling being in here, I'm not gonna lie. It's very, very strange. This is amazing. I wonder if like the first hundred of these knew that this is what they were going to do with their heads and stuff, or whether they're just as surprised as I am. This is the Chapel of Bones. The walls are covered in the skulls and bones of over 1,000 Carmelite monks as a reminder of how transient our lives are on this earth. Maybe they weren't nice monks, and that's why their heads got smashed in. Anyway, it's very peaceful here. This one is directly opposite the chapel, but there's absolutely no skulls here at all. I wonder if the church has removed them on purpose to make sure they don't get stolen or damaged. been talked into another boat tour. This one we're going to go and see the islands, do some bird watching along the wetlands, I think. The guy spoke very very quickly. Um, it was only 20 euros so I thought why not? It's only an hour long. Um, I'm very full. I've eaten two cakes this morning. <laughs> I've just had a coffee and I've got nothing better to do so why not? We're going to have a little look on the pier now. I think the pier looks out over the wetlands but I could be wrong. All right, we'll see when I get there. One thing I can't understand about Faro is how it can be so small and so massive at the same time. So all the way over there you can see the tower with the triangle on top. All the way over there, that is the Perea de Faro. This is supposed to be a nature reserve, bruh. Thank <laughs> you. 
Dinosaur. Never seen one before. No? No. They're kind of violin ish. You wanna to touch it? No. <laughs> <laughs> In Portuguese, um, Lesma do Mar. Like a slug. <laughs> So here is the mermaid in the daylight. She has fins for hands, uh, kind of webbed feet. Would you call that webbed feet? I don't know. Um, a lot of booty and a shell for a head. So 